I will uh, discuss here this 3.5 that is related with the properties properties of determinant of function of determinant of function or determinant you can see also there is a certain property related to this one. The first property is if, if A is n by n matrix if a is an n by n matrix and we are having here some scalar k then we can say here determinant of k a multiply with a determinant of k a is equal to k to power n determinant of a I will explain you this one because when we take here the A as a matrix multiplied by K then each entry is multiplied by K. Then we take K common from each entry because there are N rows. So we get here N values we take common from there and that is why we multiply with take common from each row. So we get here 10 to K to power N. Number 1, number 2, the second property is that we have two matrices A and B and find determinant of A plus b very interestingly they are not equal to determinant of a plus determinant of they are not equal i will give you the example for this purpose also here determinant of a multiplied by b is equal to the product if possible is determinant of a multiplied by determinant of b plus is not possible this is possible very important uh, result there is determinant of A inverse. We want to find determinant of A inverse and we have determinant of A. We don't need to solve, find A inverse and find determinant. This simply is equal to 1 over determinant of A. A inverse is not equal to 1 upon A, but determinant of A inverse is equal to 1 upon A. Then we are having here number 5, a determinant of A transpose is equal to determinant of A. As I told you, we can row by any row, by any column, we get the same result. So I show you this with the help of examples. We take the example to explain number one. We take our standard A, I am taking this one. That's my A is equal to uh, 1, 2, and 3. And then it's 0, 1, and 2. I'm having a 2, 4, and 8 because I know the value of determinant of this one is equal to 2. We have already taken. I write here 3a. 3a is my multiply here the matrix by 3 is 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 8. So I multiply 3, what I will get here? I get here 3, 6, 9 because each entry is multiplied with 3. 0, 3, 6. I get a 6, 12, and 24. Each entry is multiplied by 6. Now I want to find determinant of 3a, determinant of this matrix. So I find here determinant of this one, determinant of 3a is equal to determinant of uh, 3, 6, 9, 0, 3, 6. And I'm having here 6, 12, and 24. Now I take common from each row. I take common 3 from the first row. I get 3 into 1, 2, 3. 0, 3, 6, 6, 12, and 24. Now I take 3 common from the second row. I get 3 into 3. I get here this equal to 1, 2, and 3. I get here 0, 1, and 2. I get here 6, 12, and 24. Now I take here 3 common from the third row. I get a 3 into 3 into 3. I get here this equal to 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, and 2, I get here 2, 3, and 8. What's my result? My result is 3 into 3 into 3 is 27. Multiplied by 2 is equal to 54. So R, I can say, I can write my result. The determinant of 3A by applying my formula is equal to 3 to power K or 3 to power N. What's my N? This is by 3 by 3. So my N is equal to 3. This is 3 to power 3 into determinant of A. 
3 to the power 3 is 27, determinant is 2 is equal to 54. So we can have here, I can get here 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever I will do. So the result will be 3, 4 to the power 3, 5 to the power 3 and determinant of A. So that's the idea here that we have in K, my K was equal to 3. In this case, what I am giving to take K, my K was equal to 3 and my N was also equal to 3. So I get the result as this one, this I have you. Now I take example 2. We take example and we take A. A is my determinant, a matrix 2, 3, 4 and 6 and 2 and 8 and I have matrix B. My matrix B is equal to 1, 2, 1, 5. I find determinant of A. So my determinant of A is equal to 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. I find determinant of B. My determinant of B is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Now I find here A plus B. I can add two matrices when they are the same size. I have 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1 and 8 plus 5. So we add them. We get here the result is equal to 3, 5, 5 and 13. So this is my, I find determinant of this one, determinant of A plus B is equal to 39 minus 25 is equal to 14. Now this is my result, this is my result 1. So I want to check is this equal to the value we find determinant of A plus determinant of B. We find here determinant of A, determinant of A plus determinant of B and this is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. This is my number 2. So if we can say here determinant of A plus B is not equal to determinant of A plus determinant of B. This is number 2. We have seen it that we have a determinant of A plus B is not equal to determinant of A, determinant of B. We have taken the example, we have taken A, we have taken B. We find determinant of A, this is 16 minus 12 is equal to 4 and here B. 5 minus 2 is 3. Then we find a plus b this 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And 8 plus 5 is 13. We take determinant is 39 minus 25 is 14. They are not equal. Now, number 3 we see it here, the same example. We take the product ab. A product ab is equal to, we can multiply. This is 2 by 2. And this is 2 by 2, so they are equal, so we can multiply first row with the first column. We get here, this row multiplies this is 2 plus 3, 5. Then for first row with second column, 4 plus 15, 4 plus 15 is 19. The second row with the first column, 4 plus 8 is 12. Then the first row, second row with the second column is equal to, we are having 8 plus 40 is 48. So we get here this, again we check it. We are having here 2 plus 3 is 5 and 4 plus 15 is 19 and then I having here 4 plus 8 is 12 and then I having here 8 plus 40 is 48. We multiply to give, I get the determinant of this one. Determinant of AB is equal to 5 multiply 48 minus 12 multiply by 19, 5 by 48, we get here 240 and multiplying here 12 by 19 is 228. I will subtract it, we get here 12. So this is my number 1. Now I will take here product of determinant of A and multiply by determinant of B. We can see it here, we get here, uh, we are having here 4, determinant of A, determinant A is 3, result is equal to 12. This is my number 2. From 1 and 2 I can say here, determinant of a b is equal to determinant of a into determinant of b so that's my result that we can have here result 3 then we multiply product we can have in determinant of a into determinant of b and when we multiply when we add them it's not equal when k we take out as i told you before also that we take the transpose the value of the determinant will not change we open from the rows Upon here I said even we upon from any row or from any column will get the same result. I have example in the notes and the next lecture I will give you more examples. 
related with the first uh, row operations also and some of the example applying these ideas related to the properties of the determinant.